Okay guys, today we're gonna have some fun. So a few weeks back, I did a video on Miramar Lakes and it was short, it was about a minute and a half. We were already in there doing some work with some of our customers and I put it up and this had a lot of views. So today, come with me behind the gates. I'm gonna show you why I'm in full agreement that this neighborhood is still America's number one community. And don't forget, if you're looking from out of town, out of state, out of country, we can help you. My cell phone number is 239-771-6237. I much prefer to talk live. Give me a call. Okay, so here we are. This is the main entrance into Miramar Lakes. You're greeted by this really grand entrance and fountain. It's not uncommon to see people here doing wedding pictures, doing their prom pictures. It's just that grand and it's so striking with the royal palms and the hedge behind it all the way around. So here's the main gatehouse. And again, I said this in our quick preview, there's very few communities that have this kind of presence. As you come through the gatehouse, those gates behind will actually open if there's not a car in front of us, uh, which there was. But what you're going to see here, this is like driving into a Caribbean resort. I mean, you are just greeted with this expanse of lake. It's not by accident. They have that sailboat there just kind of moored. It's just really, really grand and striking when you come in. So, of course, it's a blue sky, beautiful day. Um, it's hard not to fall in love with this community here. We're going to come past. You're going to see there's some beach cabanas set up here. And then I'm going to come into the main clubhouse and amenity area. And I'm going to show you a couple different views just so you can get a perspective of what we're going to look at. So this is just a little bit of a different perspective coming from the other side, kind of making my way back to, you know, where we were just a minute ago. Just gives you a sense of the scale of how big this lake is. And just keep in mind, this lake is big and it's long. It wraps around multiple parts of the neighborhood. Hang on a second. If you're not familiar with our channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. You'll get notified each time we put new videos up each week. Okay, so back to if you're not familiar with this neighborhood, this lake goes kind of around multiple different parts of the neighborhood. And then it actually connects to the bigger side of the lake, which is where they're building now in the latest phase of Miramar Lakes. Okay, as so you're getting a closer look here of the cabanas, the beach entrance area, that's the pontoon rental spot. There's a pier there that we're gonna spend a little more time showing you in some detail. I'm gonna go one way and then come back so you can kind of see you've got the beach bar restaurant area. You actually have a workout facility. Um, that's actually what we just passed there. And then as you round this last corner and come around, this is actually the beach clubhouse. So it has kind of its own entrance. Um, you know, if you want to go and just be able to sit at the pool and partake in some of the beach club activities. So we're going to let this kind of come around and then we're going to go back the other way. And then I'm going to give you a much more detailed look at the amenities. So here we go. Last tour around this one. You're going to see probably, I think the door is open. Uh, again, this is the beach clubhouse portion of the clubhouse and amenity center. Okay, so we're just going back the other way now. You're going to get another look at the, the rest of the clubhouse, the workout facility. There's actually a movie theater uh, as part of the amenities here. And then you're going to get to the restaurant and bar. Unfortunately, there was a delivery truck parked right out front, so we won't see all of it. But that's the pool area there. Very nice resort-style pool, which I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes. And then this is actually the restaurant and bar overlooking the, the beach area. So I'm going to actually pull in and park here. And then I'm going to get out and I'm going to show you a few more angles, which I think will give you a much better sense of exactly what you're looking at here for the amenities at Miramar Lakes Beach and Golf Club. Okay, guys, so I'm out on foot now. Take a look at this. Can you see yourself sitting in that hammock? Let me just tell you, it took everything in me to keep moving past it. So you can see in the background, those are Mirasol. Those are six-story um condo style buildings with their big units. They're 2,400 up. So there's plenty of square footage in there. You can of course rent kayaks here, stand up paddle boarding. You can get one of the pontoon boats to go out. They'll fuel it for you. This is the bar area and restaurant. And I'm just gonna walk out on the pier again to just give you a little bit of a look around. How fun is that with the American flag there? It's just, 
I don't know, there's something patriotic about walking down this pier for me, but um, you can see the water, you know, really, really pretty. You've got some sailboats that you have access to as part of your clubhouse amenity dues. Those are two kids sitting out there on your paddleboard. So can you imagine your grandkids or your own kids just out having fun on the main lake? Again, those are the Mirasar units. We're looking back at the clubhouse uh, and then the restaurant here. So I'm going to make my way back and I'm going to show you pretty neat, right? I mean, how is this for outdoor dining? Take a look at this resort style pool overlooking the main lake, you know, really nice. And then it has a dedicated bar here facing back towards the resort pool. You can also have poolside service. Um, this is really one of the most luxury communities here in Southwest Florida. I'm just going to walk back out here and then I'm going to do a quick bunch of shots for you guys. So you can just get another sense of the beach area. And then I'm also going to show you after the beach area, the tennis court. So uh, the racket sports is a big deal here. This is actually one of the most active tennis and pickleball communities in our area. I think there's a full-time pro and an assistant pro um, just here in this facility. There were a lot of people playing tennis and pickleball. So, you know, me walking around with my, my camera um, was getting a few looks. So I just did a quick, quick turn here. But you can see in this next shot, I mean, there's, what, four league posters there and then another eight here. So very active racket sport community and pro shop that I just passed. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of driving here. You just saw in detail a lot of the amenity center and what's available to you here. So when you drive through Miramar Lakes, you're going to notice a couple of things. First of all, the canopies are so mature, so full, so dense. You know, you feel like you're in a luxury resort just driving around. The landscaping is really, really nicely maintained. You're going to find you are just surrounded by water, which I'm going to show here in just a few minutes. But I just wanted to get a sense or I wanted you to be able to get a sense of what it's like. You're going to see people walking. Again, this is a super, super active community. So I want to be able to show you how all of the houses, the communities, they're largely set back from the main road. So, okay, I love this particular area. So I'm going to spend a few minutes here. I'm going to walk you through a couple different views. This is essentially kind of like another fun area towards the, the back half of the neighborhood. There's actually a workout circuit that's built in. So as you walk around, there's a whole activities here that you can follow and, and do a workout. You're going to see on the one side, you have some, some boat storage here. And on the other side, you have the same. Um, but if you're new to our channel, I'm just going to pause here for a second. Please hit the subscribe button ring the bell that way when we launch new videos each week you'll get notified we talk all things southwest florida living lifestyle and of course real estate and we put out at least one video a week so if you're interested in learning we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel okay so i'm back to this now i mean look at the pots look at the flowers look at the boats i mean it just really is a pretty pretty community and as i walk to the end of this i want you to see you know Normally when I come here, there's people just sitting in these benches, they're reading, they're talking to their children, they're talking to their spouses, but you know, there's just a sense of community here and people are pretty outgoing, very friendly, but how about this? You know, could you picture sitting here at sunset or just beyond and having the fire pit going? I, sure, I certainly could. I mean, it is just really, really pretty. So I'm going to show a couple different shots of this. And again, I just wanted to get you a sense of just the presence that you have when you're in this community. So there's two bocce courts, a couple of grass lawns. There's some sculpture here at the end that's very consistent with most of Miramar Lakes. You're going to come back around here and then I'm going to go a couple shots through the center. And then I want to show you just the other side opposite of the workout circuit. So you can just see a little bit of a different perspective. So, um, you know, I almost feel like I'm in Northern Italy when I look at how the landscaping is, is done here. Certainly the bocce lends itself to that feeling as well. But again, you just get a sense of the amount of effort and focus that's put into the upkeep of this facility. Uh, again, just picture, you know, sitting here, playing in your bocce league, having a good time with friends, family, you name it. Um, the weather, of course, it's December. So today, Actually, the high today was 73, um, which is cold for us. So 
Okay, so this is just the other side of this area. I wanted to show you both sides. So you can see these particular single family homes, they back up to a beach area. So these houses actually have beach behind them. And then again, you know, you have access here to dock your boat. So you've got quick access to the boats. I'm gonna show you, actually it's the new part of Miramar Lakes, but I'm gonna show you where this part of the lake actually connects to the other side of the lake here in just a moment. We're gonna do a little bit of a drive out so you can see that as well. Okay, so this is the bocce area. I hope you guys get a sense for this. We're gonna hop in the car now and do a little bit of driving around so you can see different parts of the community. Okay guys, welcome back. We're leaving that bocce area and I just wanted to show you, you know, there's a few rotaries here. All of them are pretty unique. Some have sculptures, some have small water features. But this is the part I wanted to show you. As you're driving through Miramar Lakes, there's a reason it's called lakes with an S. There is just water everywhere. There are multiple lakes. Most of the single family homes are on water. Most of the condos are on water. And then you do get into some of the villas, which I'm going to show you here, which are kind of the up-down um, villa style. This is actually looking back across that first lake. Um, that's actually FGCU. So if you can imagine, those are college dorms on the other side of the lake. Now, don't, don't get the wrong impression. They're a long ways away. But I'm just saying, that's not what my college dorm looked like. We didn't have beach volleyball and this kind of just amazingness to look around at. So... Okay, guys, this is kind of interesting. We're going up over this little bridge here. I'm pointing this out for two reasons. One, it's because you can get your boat from one side of that lake to the other side of this big lake over here as well. This is where they're building out Esplanade Lake Club and a couple other communities. But the second reason is that particular bridge, I believe, is six inches taller than the land bridge I showed you in Wild Blue. So we might have to do a little competition and actually find out which point is higher. <laughs> again, just kidding. Everything is flat here, so we have to have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, but again, so here we are. We're just making our way back towards the front of the community. This is the part of the community that's actually now growing. This is the latest phase that they've opened up. It's more to the left. What you're seeing across from us are actually other communities that are off of Alico Road. Uh, you've already seen one boat. There's another boat here coming up. You'll see this pontoon boat. Again, all the pots, all the landscaping. Just imagine sitting out here with your dog, reading a book, having a glass of wine, whatever it might be. So I'm going to show you now quickly a couple different parts of the community. You saw some single family homes there. I'm going to show you a, another area over on the other side of the neighborhood. But before we get into that one, these are some of the townhome villa style. So these are uh, the kind of the up-down version of them. One nice thing is they all have two-car garages. So um, these are actually pretty spacious units. And the good thing is this is still on the main side of Ben Hill Griffin. So it's inside the main part of the community. There are actually two other parts of this community that sit on the western side of Ben Hill Griffin. So while you still have access to all the amenities, you're not actually in the main part of the community and would have to drive back in. Okay, so just another clip here. I want to get, give you a sense of what some of the other single family homes look like. Circular drives, long drives, I mean, plenty of parking, plenty of garage space. This is probably one of the nicest luxury communities they have concierge service here. So as part of your fees, you get a credit every year to use towards things like, I don't know, you're flying back into the airport, you wanna get picked up, you call the concierge, they come get you. You wanna have your house cleaned, they'll clean it. So it's really an amenity rich, probably the most amenity rich community in this particular area, if not all of Southwest Florida. And what's nice about this neighborhood is it's perfectly located. You're not even 10 minutes to RSW, which is our regional, actually they say it's an international airport because of Canada, but our airport, you're across the street effectively from Gulf Coast Town Center, which has the restaurants and shops. Okay, we're heading back out. Let's let the gates open and let's take a look at this last shot of the fountain before we get back to the main road. I didn't talk about it. I didn't go through there, but there is a golf course on the other side. What a great idea. They actually put the golf course along routes or across Interstate 75. So um, 
all of the houses are kind of set back from the highway and then on this side they're across another road so you're really removed from that and the noise so one last look at the fountain you know again just very very grand um, i hope you guys enjoyed the tour with us today if you have any questions always reach out to us call my cell phone reach out to us on social media our website whatever it takes we will personally respond to you just as quickly as we can and again this is miramar lakes Oh, <laughs> oh,